All right, hey everybody. Hope everyone's having a great day, staying fit, having fun. And on today's episode, we're gonna visit Taylor. She's a second year PhD student up here at Simon Fraser University. And we're gonna do a little fitness test and a fitness study. So we'll use ultrasound and some other really cool technology to see how my body's moving, if I can make it move better. So, let's go. All right, so now we're inside here at Simon Fraser University in the Applied Science Building. And we're here with Taylor. She's a second year PhD student and Taylor studying biomechanics and how our muscles move and activate. So Taylor, why do you like studying the body? So I'm really interested in studying muscle and muscle tendon inter interactions and how um, the human body is so effective at moving through such a diverse range of activities. Cool, and so I heard that you used to be a wrestler. Yes. And now you're working in with the body. Yep. So what happened there? How did how, how, you come to this, this place? Well, it was kind of a nice transition. In fourth year university, you know, wrestling was my dream, maybe to go to the Olympics. And uh, I blew up my knee, um, got re reconstructive surgery right away, was able to come back for nationals in my last year. But you know, I just wasn't the same. So I kind of decided to uh, take another path and pursue academia. Um, so I went right from my uh, undergraduate degree to my PhD and have been here for two years since. Cool, so what are we doing today? We're gonna have you cycling uh, with EMG to study your muscle activation patterns as you pedal, as well as ultrasound on your muscles so we can image them and see how they're interacting with your tendons um, and to see if we can predict human muscle force, which hasn't been done before. Excellent, so well, should we go over there? Yeah, totally. Whoa, okay, so I got all sorts of sensors and gadgets on me now. Took a while, but we're ready to go. Taylor, so what are we doing here? So we're doing two things. We have uh, little sensors on your muscles, so that measures your muscle activity as you pedal. Flex. Yeah. And we also have these little light markers on your joints, so like your knees and your ankles and your hips, and that's gonna measure the motion and the angles of those as you cycle. Cool, and then afterwards we'll have a video. Yeah. Okay. Awesome, uh, so what's the protocol here? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with a few max trials. So an all out, three max wattage trials, so max power. Okay. And then we're gonna do two max speed trials. So there's a whole bunch of other stuff in the lab. How does that tie in with today's uh, activities? Well, we've got a couple things. One, we've got these cameras on either side, and these cameras are what is measuring those little light markers placed all over your body. We've got this little contraption here, and this is a, a force plate that we're gonna measure your tendon properties and how that contributes to how you pedal. Now we have the computer where the sensors are feeding in that are on Ben's legs and we can see the positions changing and it's a live updated feed of what he's doing on the bike. You might wonder why I'm doing this study. Um, one of the main questions I'm asking is, how is the Achilles tendon used during cycling? Nobody has really known. We know it's a big player during running, but nobody knows what it does during cycling. Oof, thank you, I need that. That was like, pretty hard. Good thing I've had some training. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for bringing us into the, the laboratory today. Thanks for coming. Oh yeah, my pleasure. You know, you're, you're the one showing us all the cool stuff with <laughs> the ultrasound machine. But any parting thoughts for the students? I think just immerse yourself in a positive environment because optimism, it's contagious and uh, do what you love. <laughs>